Shakespeare in the Streets, which joins professional and amateur actors, is headed to Maplewood. And here with more information is Nancy Bell. She is the resident playwright of Shakespeare Festival St. Louis. Thank you for being here today. It's my pleasure. So Shakespeare Festival St. Louis just came off the big Shakespeare in the Park, mm -hmm. and now we head into Shakespeare in the Streets. Mm -hmm. So for those not familiar with it, tell me what it's about. Tell us what it's about. Okay. Every year we pick a different neighborhood in St. Louis, and we spend about a year. We have a team that's me, the playwright. We have a... Um, um, uh, production designer and a director and we spend time in that neighborhood getting to know people doing story circles doing interviews doing ride-alongs and tag-alongs with people just spending a day with somebody to see what their day in that neighborhood is like and we try to figure out what is unique about that mm -hmm. neighborhood what makes it special what makes it different than every other neighborhood in st. Louis and also what makes it the same what we all have in common um, try to figure out what people's challenges are there, what their hopes and dreams are, how they wish things were better, what they're really proud of. Uh, and then I take all of that, along with a little bit of um, uh, research about the history of that neighborhood, okay. and um, I write a contemporary adaptation of a Shakespeare play okay. that is based on all of that. Very so interesting. take a person that I meet, see if they remind me of someone in a Shakespeare play, and think, oh, um, like, who could they be? Are they a Juliet? Are they a Julius Caesar? And something will sort of surface about that person, like, oh, I get it. They're a little bit like Juliet because of this and because of that. And then I could take a little bit of their words and their life and a little bit of Shakespeare mm -hmm. and a little bit of what I experience with mm -hmm. them and um, create something that's really unique, which is the story of Shakespeare, the character of Shakespeare, but they speak like contemporary people and mm -hmm. they talk about their life in St. Louis. Got it. So what is this year's adaptation, which Shakespeare, Shakespeare play? Well, um, this year we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we usually just pick a play and do it. Uh, but this year we're mashing up <laughs> Hamlet and Midsummer Night's Dream. Okay. And as I was writing it, I also <laughs> threw in a healthy dose of Macbeth and a nice little bit of Romeo and Juliet. Right, the top hits, right? Yeah, the... it's basically, you know, greatest <laughs> hits. The greatest hits. Somebody said, oh, so it's like Shakespeare threw up. Right, right, right. <laughs> and so you put it all together. So, how's, so out of curiosity, with Maplewood, what was mm -hmm. sort of the essence of that neighborhood that you got to then to apply it to this mashup of Shakespeare plays? Um, well, uh, Maplewood is a really unique place. Like every neighborhood we find in St. Louis, in some ways it's like, oh, it's typical St. Louis neighborhood. It's mm -hmm. a neighborhood in St. Louis. And then as you dig deeper, you're like, oh no, it's actually its own thing. And it's the same with Maplewood. Maplewood um, is characterized by a real sense of uniqueness mm -hmm. and um, a sense that they do things a little differently and they're really proud of that, that they're forging their own way in the world. Uh -huh. They love to refer to themselves as maple weird. Huh. Um, I think at one point <laughs> that term was used as a pejorative for their neighborhood right. and they've co-opted it and decided to own it and say, mm -hmm. yeah, we're maple weird. <laughs> um, there's a, a real interest in thinking outside the box there. Mm -hmm. Lots of artists, um, lots of people trying to make their own way in, right. in the city. So this is a cast of amateur actors as well mm -hmm. as professional actors, mm -hmm. and then they're all embracing this essence of Maplewood mm -hmm. with your mashup of Hamlet, A Midsummer Night's Dream, just a combination. Yeah. So how does that all, what are we, what can you, we expect from when we go see this um, coming up in September? Um, well, if you've never seen a Shakespeare in the Streets, it's a really unique experience. It's extremely fun. It's vibrant. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of audience interaction. Um, there's live music. You're sitting uh, you're sitting in the middle of a city street watching yeah. a play, which is really exciting. Uh, you're watching real people perform mm -hmm. along with professionals. Um, and that's an amazing experience because um, the, the non-professional actors get to be with professional actors and really have a crash course mm -hmm. in professional theater and really get to peek into a world yeah. they knew nothing about before um, and sometimes discover these incredible talents that they have. Um, and at the same time, the professional actors rediscover what right. they've always loved about the craft. Okay. Um, and so there's a lot of excitement on stage, too. Also, um, people in, in the audience, there are people from all over the city, but there are also tons of people from that neighborhood. And they are watching their neighborhood yeah. and their life and their world. And, it, and because of that, it, 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 it's a theater experience that's 
uniquely mm -hmm. relevant mm -hmm. to the audience. Right. And to that and it's re and reflective in in a right. in a unique way. Yeah. Well, it's Shakespeare in the Streets it's taking place September 16th through the 18th. This year the focus the neighborhood is Maplewood and it's a unique unique play this year cuz it's a mashup of Shakespeare's of the top hits, the favorite greatest <laughs> hits of Shakespeare. But for more information go to sfstl.com for more information, but again, mark your calendars and save the date for September 16th through 18th. But that's on it. We're just going to take a quick break and then we're going to have more with Nancy and about Shakespeare in the Streets after we return. Stay with us.